hello, hello. Uh, Ah, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again. You are live. We are live streaming from Chalet at the Level Up Social Networking Events. We've got one of the founders here, Mr. Tony Salvage. He is the man of the hour. He missed the last event because he was on some sort of crazy vacation doing his thing. He's a man of the people. It is about a hundred people deep here and we are on fire. Tony, lean into that mic and let's get it on. How are you, my friend? Nice to see you. I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. Uh, I apologize for missing Vegas calls. When Vegas calls, you go, my friend. You gotta go. They make you go. Tony, tell us a little bit about the role that you have and the brand that you represent and uh, what's going on with that. And maybe a little bit about what inspired you to start this level up social networking events with your friends. Yeah. Uh, with me and Spike and Dave and Carolina, we found uh, there was a gap that we wanted to fill with enthusiasm, with energy, with a unique experience. Um, my role specifically, I get to talk to amazing vendors like Chalet, like GoPro Social. Uh, I get to talk with beverage sponsors. I get to talk with all the people that are the movers and shakers of why we do what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. And so what's your role in your, in your real life job? I know this is your extracurricular activity. Tell us a little bit about the brand that you represent and uh, the impact that you're having on people. Yeah, so I, I work with a company called Heartland. Uh, yeah, credit card processing, right? We do credit card processing, but we're also becoming a big player in the game in the payroll space. And where we find ourselves is, once again, looking for those opportunities to be very valuable to small business, which yeah. from the research, what, 99% of the businesses out there, and we want to be able to help them out in really robust ways or very simple ways, depending on their needs. What are some of the challenges that those businesses face that maybe it's an objection at first? They think there's there's no way I could possibly solve this on my own. There's no solution out there. I've tried 10 things. And then all of a sudden, Tony and his team walk in and say, no, there's a solution. What are some of those challenges that your business owners, your clients face that you know you can solve for them? Yeah, John, I feel like the big place that we help out the most is one, we bring support like no one else. Because when we sign up an account, we are owners of that account. So we take pride in that. We don't leave that situation. And in terms of attention to detail, attention to service and keeping the clients happy, we're there for them. We give two points of contact. We can be as robust as they need, like I mentioned earlier. The big thing that we're here nowadays is we need money and we need, we need people to work. And we have a system that can do the applicant tracking, the recruiting, or we have a system that also looks for the tax credits that are unrealized by most businesses, whether that's for new hires, whether that's in, in other spaces and tax credits that people don't know about. All right, so Tony, let's have a pride moment here for a second. I want you just to take a second. I want you to look to your right. I want you to soak in the noise. You can hear this on Twitch. You can hear this on the podcast through the microphones. I want you to soak in that th this amount of business people and look at these people these are polished people professionals young pro many young professionals professionals from all different demographics coming together from a brand that you and your partner started how does that make you feel oh my god it other than having a three-year-old daughter that i absolutely love and adore and, and my family it's it's right there in line with because i get to hang out in network and build relationships and do business with people that I truly enjoy doing stuff with. And I get excited to wake up and I like, interact. Yeah. Right. It could be interacting through a coffee. It could be interacting through a, a closing. It could be interacting just in any shape or form. And what I love to see is cultivating that in others. Um, I'm new to my industry relatively to like others, like I'm two years plus in and I know a lot of people and a lot of struggles that I had and they've had is just aligning with those other people that are just hungry, looking to make an impact and, and want to do it with people that really are also in it for like the betterment. 
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Level Up Social Networking event here at Chalet. And I gotta tell you, it is about 100 people deep and growing. It is a lively crew. Tony, tell us a little bit about the differentiator, right? That's like the big sexy word right now in business is what are your differentiators? Because there's a lot of folks out there that do payroll services. There's a lot of folks that do credit card processing. Uh, what are the differentiators that set you apart as a team? Why you? Why your organization? Why your brand? Why should somebody come work with you? Moreover, why should somebody hire you? Yeah, uh, I think it really comes down to, once again, kind of what I keep, I keep repeating, and I notice that I repeat more and more every day, is it really is about that human interaction. It's, it's what can I bring to them, not just what I do, but what can I expose them to in my networking business and to the partnerships that we have? Our differentiator is we come in as true, wanting to be partners with them. And if they have a struggle, we want to absorb that with them. And nobody else I feel like does that. I feel like, I know you know this, there's a disconnect. Sometimes it's a transaction for people. We don't want it to just be that because you could get that anywhere. Yeah, sure. Right. Like, so let's, let's find someone that I want to go have a coffee with, a beer with, a beverage with, go golf with, go do anything with, and not just make it one lane. So you want to be a trusted advisor, somebody that is going to fully understand the end goal of your client, the want behind the want behind the want, right? That emotional driver. It's so funny you bring it up that way. I was literally talking to some new hires that we have today, and we were like, yeah, how many times do you go in a situation, you ask that first level question, and you walk away from that question? No, never take that first answer. It's never that first answer. The first, le the first level question is a surface question. You're going to get a surface answer. So, <laughs> I mean, like I could ask you how you're doing. Yeah. You're not going to tell me. I have, yeah, I have to go, oh, really? Tell me what's good, right? I have to, I have to dig. Well, let me tell you about that from there. Like, All right. I did this, I did that, I did everything. Exactly. A hundred percent. It's always the like, let's get through this because I've heard this before. What's going to make you different? And I actually, it was so odd. This morning I was kind of just doing my wake up routine, scrolling through the feed, right? And I saw this guy and I can't remember his name. It's Terry something, but he was like, What's gonna make you different from the last 10 people that talk to them? Because especially with established businesses or established relationships, you're not the first one, right? Yeah, absolutely. Why are you gonna be different? You have to be different. We talk often about culture. Culture seems to be the differentiator these days, especially the younger generation really wants that differentiator. They want that greater purpose. Tell us a little bit about the culture that you're stewarding at your organization. I know that you manage or run a team. Yep. Right. So not only from the top down, what is kind of the brand core values, but also uh, w what are some of your principles and core values to driving a successful team? Well, we're really big into uh, into pizza parties. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a five banger. We love pizza parties. Let's go. No, all, all kidding aside, like I honestly have I have my uh, my girl Carolyn here from my company, Eva. They do amazing jobs in what they do. But. It's incorporating and understanding that it was enough for all of us. Let's do this together. Yeah. And when you put that into a culture, people really identify it with that. And they're like, okay, I'm not just a number. I'm not just, hey, here's my quota. I have to hit that. Or I'm driven. I want to get a little bit above that. It's like, no, how, I gonna, how am I going to make my life different? How is work-life balance really going to be a thing and not just like a slogan, right? I want to give you a new thing. Work-life harmony. For me... For me, I don't know if work-life balance is really possible, right? Like, you, how do you 50-50 that? There are moments where you got to be 75-25, right? So you're looking for that harmony where everything kind of fits. Yeah, 100%. I, I, I actually, and I joke around about this with my, my opportunities that I run into, I love to say that I have work-life balance, but as you mentioned, it's harmony, right? If I feel like I want to take a call on a 4th of July, let's go. Somebody accidentally ran a payroll. Yeah, or the client needs you, man. They can't always need me at the time that I want them to need me. Yes. I have to be there when they need me. And if I had Chalet as a client, like they're a bar, they're a restaurant, like they're going to be all working these off hours. I can't say, hey, you have to fit my life. Yeah. But at the same time, also setting those parameters of 
it can't just be this. It also has to be, hey, I have a family, I have a daughter. We want to go see Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got to be able to plug it in. But we yeah. talked about that differentiator. That is a differentiator. You'll answer the phone at 2 a.m. when they got an issue yeah. on a Wednesday night because they had a huge crowd. Probably from the Level Up social networking event that Very they had likely. so many people coming to their bar that the machines blew up. Oh. They lost the, their Wi-Fi. They, they lost can, their Wi-Fi, whatever. They don't know what to do. They need somebody. They want somebody reliable. And they want All right, Tony, so let's get deep. Let's get emotional. Are you ready to cry? Are you ready to really get deep and emotional? Tell us something about you that people would be shocked to know. I'm not going to lie. I kind of cheated on this one. I saw this on the, on the last podcast. <laughs> it worried me the most. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's be vulnerable. Weirdly enough, I am a man that still appreciates anime. Appreciates what? Anime. Anime. Yeah. Back in the day, really? I was a football fan. Liked all those. It's gotten more RT. I'm a boy, and at heart, I like to see action. Guys, this is this is 230 pounds of middle linebacker <laughs> that's still in anime. Let's go. <laughs> and guess what, Tony? You are about to enter the hot iron with J Mo. Are you ready? Oh my. Here we go. Because you are the honorary guest, you are the host with the most. Here we go. This is rapid fire questions. You're on a two minute clock that doesn't exist. I've completely made that up and there are no rules. Also, there, I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions. You better get your answers right, but there are no right answers. Here we go. If you could be on the cover of any magazine, which one and for what reason would you be selected to be on the cover of that magazine? Uh, well, since I am infamously awful and also amazing at fantasy football, put me on one of those magazines. Fantasy football magazines, that is correct. Which movie do you wish you were the star of and why? Uh, I just joked about seeing uh, Super Mario Brothers with my daughter. I'd love on multiple levels to do that, plus that hits my childhood. Of Tony, I'm Mario. pretty positive you are not a cartoon, but we will give it to you. What event that happened in Chicago? Any time in Chicago, do you regret not attending? Any type of event? Let's go with as the Bulls are playing today. Yeah, go Bulls. I want to be at the first three-peat oh. final home game clincher. Get me there in front of Jordan, Horace Grant. Pippen. That is correct. That was fire. All right. So this one we know. I give you a preview of the questions, which is a rarity. I rarely give a preview of the questions. But golf season has started. It's upon us. It's the greatest season in the world. Here we go. If you had to put together a foursome of Chicago legends, only Chicago legends, Tony, okay. who is in your foursomes? What? Three legends. Uh, well, since we were just talking about the Bulls, I want all the deep stories from all the different levels. Give me Phil Jackson. Oh, a philosopher. That is correct. Give me, as a hip-hop aficionado and an appreciator from like the 90s and 2000s, give me Common. Common? I thought you were going Kanye, but nobody knows where he is. No, <laughs> no they don't. Um, and then Final answer. Let's go old school and give me Jim Belushi. Jim Belushi? Yeah. Or John? No, John, the brother, right? John Belushi. That is correct. It's going to take you seven hours to play that round. I hope I'm not behind you. Great chaos. Here we go. Why? Why? I want to ask you this, Tony. Why is the level up social networking event so much different than the rest? So much better than the rest? Um, well, I didn't get paid to say this, but you, John. Oh, that is correct. <laughs> I am a spicy character. If you could receive a promo gift from your brand or employer, the beautiful Heartland, right? Yeah. If you could receive a gift from them, within reason, price-wise, I mean, let's be honest, because there's a lot of other employees, even though you're the most adored <laughs> employee at the company, what would you want to receive from them in the way of a promotional gift? Um, man, that's tough. There's so many things that could that, that could go in different routes, but since we're so well known in the restaurant space, give me an unlimited amount of food at one of our biggest clients. Wow, Tony is hungry. That is correct. I hope you've got some big names. Maybe a Lou Malnati's. You got a Lou Malnati's? Is Lou one of your clients? I don't know if I'm able to share. 
All right, that's confidential, but it looks like we're going to get some lose after this. <laughs> Here we go. What do you think is more difficult? Conducting a better interview than Oprah, tackling Walter Payton, or guarding Michael Jordan? Um, man. That, that is, is tough. That is tough. Speak of some legends. Those are some legends. Legends. Uh, We're trying to go with the Chicago theme. Let's... Let's go with, I think, the most difficult. No offense to Oprah or Walter Payton, my favorite football player. But guarding Michael Jordan, I don't know if you saw my impressive height, but it yeah. stops at 5'9". There's a strong chance he could he could do a set shot over both of us. <laughs> I could sit on your shoulders and he could do a set shot. Uh, Oprah, we love you, but you lose. And I agree with Tony. And here is the bonus question. People should immediately consider hiring my company because... Because of us, because of me, because of my people. No other company's got Tony, but the company he represents. That is Tony Savage. Tony, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. It's an absolute pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here live from the Level Up social networking events. We're live on Twitch. We are recording the podcast, Apple, Spotify. Go to the Club Colors YouTube channel and download subscribe right now we're going to be cranking out clips all night tony look at the amount of people here look you are so loved it's so amazing i love it and honestly it's it is it is felt like that that sense to the beginning when we started with our first event it was like five ten people it was silly it was literally personal connections and now like i don't even know half the room but i love meeting them every time because it's a great rotation of new old people that have been before you must have read Grant Cardone's book, 10X, because if it was 10 people before, it's 100 now, and it is hot in here. I feel like a Baptist preacher right now. I feel like my third grade spelling bee when they asked me to spell Exxon. Bring me back to the wrestling days where we had garbage bags on. I'm sweating like that. That, like that, like that. <laughs> I was not a wrestler. They said that you had to be tough, and I said, no, thank you. I will play golf. Good choice. It's been an absolute pleasure. Tony, we got to bring up more guests. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Who's Can, next? Let's crank in the next guest. The what next we guest next? we've got coming up. Who do we got coming up? Let's see. Let's see. Can you grab me? Hold on. I'll figure it out one of these times. We need Kate, Katie Mertens. We need Katie Mertens. Katie Mertens, come on Katie down. Katie Mertens, come on right. down. Tony yeah. Savage. Tony yeah. Savage. Ladies and gentlemen, check out you, Heartland. Check out Heartland. If you own a bar, a club, if you do any credit card processing, you're a small business owner, and you need payroll services, and you need to run credit cards, you got to call Tony Salvage. We're going to drop all the information in the uh, comments section. We're going to drop all the information below, and you will be able to find your way to Tony Salvage. We are here now with Miss Katie Mertens. Oh, my gosh. Let's get those headphones on. And, Katie, it is so loud in here. you got to move real close to the microphone. Scooch in here. Let's get close to the mic. There we go. You good? Good. All right, you got to lean in there because it is loud. All right, so Katie, first off, nice to meet you. How are you? So tell our listeners, who is Katie Mertens? Who do you work for? What do you do? What brand do you represent? Yeah, so I, uh, I work for a company called Human Interest. Um, I also go by the name 401 Katie. 401 Katie? Wait a minute. We've had a conversation. Oh, my gosh. This is 401 Katie. I just looked over and saw Mr. Modern Dope over there. 401 Katie, how are you? What a great name. I love it. I love it. So tell us a little bit about what you do. What's driving you right now? I know that you're helping folks with all of their benefits and you're driving businesses forward. Tell us a little bit of the details. Yeah, so human interest... Uh Provides 401ks and 403b plans for small to mid-sized companies. Okay. Um, and, you know, traditionally it's been really expensive. Yep. Only these bigger companies can afford it. Um, and there's a lot of moving pieces. So we've really sought out to make it accessible for everybody. We've automated everything. 
um, and now giving everybody in America the, the right to retire with dignity. That is amazing. That inclusiveness is very important because a lot of small businesses are struggling to hire and recruit because they can't compete on the benefit side. So you're opening up the opportunity for companies to be able to build a stronger culture, build stronger personnel through the recruiting by offering better benefits. So let me ask you this, what's your differentiator? What's the difference maker for you? So I actually come from the 401k industry. Okay. So I, I used to sell investments, I've seen it all. It's not a very transparent industry. Yeah. Um, it's a little greedy. And I can say that the, the differentiator is we really are out to do what's right by the, by the participant, by yeah. the, the employees. Um, everything about our company, our pricing, our model, our, our platform is extremely transparent. And so there's no hidden fees, there's no gimmick. It's, it's really giving everything. What you see is what you get. You know, that's really refreshing because traditionally HR for many years had been really a representative of the executive team, the board, the ownership team. And we're seeing a real move right now where uh, some of the ancillary benefits, some of the things that support HR are really more focused on the human experience. They're focused on people uh, because I think that executives as well are recognizing that Brands really are just a bunch of people who decide to represent the same team, yeah. right? And move towards the same goal. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm curious, what are some of the objections that you might get in your, in your field that you want to, let's squash some objections right now, Katie, where people give you some of these objections, won't give you the time of day, they won't talk to you, they don't want to take your phone call, they don't want to read your email, why should they? Well, first and foremost, I will say that in Illinois specifically, there is a state mandate that is requiring businesses legally to offer a retirement plan. So right now, if you have 16 or more employees, you have to. Yep. Come November, if you have five or more employees, and that's part-time or full-time, you have to. So really, it, it, that's all you kind of need to hear. Yeah. Aside from that, a lot of the common ones I get are Oh, well, I can't afford it. I, my company is new. That's way down the road, right? Or um, we already have a 401k, we're good. We don't wanna, it's gonna take too much time to move or we're gonna, you know, it's gonna, we're gonna get charged to leave. So, you know, the nice thing is we actually pay that fee for them to leave. Really? It's a really seamless process for them to move. And companies should be benchmarking their plan every couple of years anyway to make sure that they're basically not getting sued. How often does it change where they need to really evaluate and consider opening up the doors for new opportunities and consider the fact that there's innovation and advancement uh, from companies like yours? Well, so, you know, they it's recommended that they should reevaluate their plan at least once every three years. A lot of these companies are doing it every year okay. just to protect themselves. You mean the most cutting edge the most on top of it companies. Yeah. yeah. And why would you? Like, why wouldn't you? It's yeah. And find cost savings and find a, a better solution. You know, I know you're 401 Katie, but oftentimes people get set up with somebody and they kind of just settle because they have the relationship with that person. And sometimes because you have a relationship or a friendship with a person, you actually let opportunity slip by. So I think that, uh, Folks should really consider all we, uh, every year having an analysis at least. What's your point of entry? Do you do an analysis, like a free analysis to show what the benefits are, what the differences are, what the gaps are, and then you give your recommendations and they can determine whether or not they hire from you from there? Yeah, so we offer complimentary benchmarks. We'll do a, an apples to apples comparison. It okay. really breaks down what you're paying for. Because a lot of people don't know. And I can say too, I mean, I hear a lot of times that people can never get in touch, but they're yeah. But you can always get in touch with somebody of human interest. So we're happy to at least give you an idea of what you're paying and what you choose to do with that is completely up to you, but we're here to support the customer. Give us a little secret sauce. What is something that most folks are not aware of or they don't know 
when you initially meet with them that you kind of shock them when you introduce that type of advisement? Come on, lean into that microphone and give us the goods already, Katie. 401 Katie right here. Well, you know, and not to be boring and talk about 401k and pricing and fees, but a lot of people are getting dinged left and right for all of these things that they don't know about. I was talking to a guy earlier tonight. He takes a withdrawal out of his 401k, which is rightfully his money. Yeah. He doesn't know that he gets charged a fee every single time he does that. We don't charge those fees. Got it. And so all these little hidden fees that add up and accumulate. So if somebody worked with you, they could almost use their 401k as a cash flow when needed without penalty. They can take a loan. Yes. Once they retire and they need to take distributions and take that money out. Totally Ladies and gentlemen, are you hearing this? That is a differentiator right there. So let's get away from the business side, Katie. What is fun about your life right now? What's fun? What's driving you? What's giving you the purpose? What lights the fire under 401, Katie? Well, when I'm not solving the retirement crisis in America, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I really, like, I. it sounds nerdy. I really do have a passion for what I do in this industry. Um... I have a lot of family and friends that are just not in a position to retire. Yeah. And so I do. I kind of nerd out on this stuff, but um, I don't know, travel. Uh, where's, where's your favorite place to travel? So I love Spain. Spain. Why Spain? Let's go. Tell me about Spain. John Rom. John Rom just won the Masters from Spain. It is just, it's beautiful. It yeah. Is, everything's incredible. The food, the people, I mean... It's, but there's so many other places that are, you know, top of my list, like South Africa, Japan. Uh, I could go on forever. Well, I'm going to wing it here with you, and we're going to do what we call the hot iron with JMO. Are you ready? So I'm going to rifle off some questions. You're on a clock that does not exist. There are no right answers, but you better get your answers right. Are you ready? And here we go. If you could be on the cover of any magazine, what magazine would you want to be on the cover of and for what reason? Forbes. Cool. And I would want to, um, something along the lines of um, empowering and influencing young business owners to um, really uh, advance their business. I, I love it. She's all about purpose. Which movie do you wish you were the star of? 401 Katie. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Next. <laughs> oh, she passes. We're passing on that. What event that has happened in the history of Chicago do you regret that you did not attend? I literally went to all of them. You've when been to we, every event? I moved here. Were you at the Chicago Fire? No. <laughs> and I didn't want to be. So. No, that would be a bad one. I wouldn't want to be at that one either. No, I moved here right before the pandemic. And when everything opened up, I really tried to go to every networking event possible. Not networking event, any event. No, Rock any concert, event? Super Bowl. I don't know. Sporting I saw, event. I saw Burt Kreischer, and that was Oh, funny, my gosh. So. Did he take his shirt off? The machine. The yeah, machine. Yeah. All right. I'm a golf fanatic. Katie, we got to play golf together. So if you were going to put together a foursome of golf partners, so three additional people that are Chicago legends, who would you want in your foursome? Or I tell you what, since you're not originally from Chicago, Put together a foursome of legends in your mind, your most favorite people, three amazing people that you would love to have in your foursome. Well, obviously you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That is that is a correct answer. What else? Um, Two more. Tony. Um, <laughs> we have to raise your standards. Be careful about what I say nowadays because you're going to offend people. 401, Katie, we have to raise your standards. If Tony and I are in your foursome... Candace, I don't know. <laughs> not going to go there. All right, the bonus question. Are you ready? Why is the Level Up social networking event the one to go to? 
So like I said, I've been to a lot of events and this is the one that I never miss every month. They are so focused on quality and everyone you meet here is here for the right reason. Yeah. Right? It's fun, but they're also here for business. So I've always, it's always a really diverse group of people. Uh, it is, it's one thing that is, I can justify when I'm looking at, you know, how I'm spending my time. I always make time for them. Katie, how does your ideal client, your ideal client, your ICP, how do they get a hold of you? What is the best way to communicate with you? And if you're listening on Twitch, you own a business, and we're going to post this, and you're looking for a 401k option, you got to call 401 Katie. How did they get a hold of you? Well, I don't have a TikTok yet, but um, I, I'm on LinkedIn. Okay. Katie Mertens, M-E-R-T-E-N-S. Um, I have a really long email, so I'll spare everybody, but... Probably LinkedIn is the best bet. All right. Check out In the Club, powered by Club Colors. We will be posting several clips, and we will share the information in there so you can get a hold of 401 Katie because I got to tell you right now, she's going to be a game changer for you and your business. Katie, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to meet you in person, and shame on me after a great half-hour-long phone call about four months ago that I didn't put a name to a face. I apologize. But I'm glad to have you on the podcast here today. It's, it's an awesome experience. What do you say? How many people are here? 100? It's pretty crazy. It's a lot. It's a lot of people, and it's very hot in yeah, here. It is hot. I have my, I have my dab top. This is the problem with being a bald man. There's no hair to catch the sweat. Thank you very much. Cheers. Appreciate it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Katie Mertens. 401 Katie, dealing with small to mid-sized businesses, helping them to put together the ultimate benefits package and to take care of their employees. That's really what it's all about. I mean, if you think about it, building culture is a lot more than creating rewards or recognition. You've got to really create a full, holistic environment where people are financially taken care of, where they know that they have their future thought of, and they're having a daily experience that is inspiring. That's what Club Colors is all about, by the way, creating inspiring brand experiences. And if you don't know, Club Colors is the full service brand management firm that you need for your business. From concept to doorstep, anything in between, we are your all-in-one solution. How are you, sir? Hop on. All right, it's like speed dating on a podcast. Again, we are here for the Level Up Social Club networking event, and I am here today with... Sean Mills from CloudSource. You got to make sure you get in that microphone. Sean Mills from CloudSource. How's that sound? Sean, very nice to meet you. you Thanks for joining us. Tell everyone a little bit about kind of who you are, what you do, and why you do it. What drives you, man? Yeah, yeah, thanks. So uh, CloudSource, we're a technology consultant slash advisor. For, for businesses that are normally at a time where they're considering going through a technology change or a technology buying decision. Okay. Right, so we help make that process easier, quicker, and faster. So you are the trusted advisor for the IT buying decision. And what type of, uh, what type of work would you specialize in? Like, is there, a, is there a, a linear focus or are you pretty holistic in your approach? Yeah, it's pretty wide. So to, to, to try to break it down a little bit, it's, to put it simple, it's anything as a service, any kind of a technology service that you would buy is an ongoing month of service. Got it. So we break it into five, five buckets, um, unified communications, kind of your phone systems, conferencing services, call centers, internet connectivity, WAN, cloud computing, and cybersecurity. So it's, it's those categories, the ideas, there's amongst those about 300 different technology service providers in our portfolio. So, wow. Yeah. So there's a lot of networking events out there in the Chicagoland area. Why do you choose this one? Why do you come here? David Horvenko. Yeah, you got to love David Horvenko. He's the man. Yeah, he's great. He, uh, I'm trying to remember how we met, but we met uh, a year, year and a half ago. And I came to one of the early events about a year ago when they started doing these. And I've been to a couple, but he's great. And, um, and it's right in my backyard here in Chicago. So Look at you. Night. 
Look at you nobody running Chicago. Me, nobody told me the windows would be open, though. I dressed oh for, my gosh. I dressed for uh, an April day. You know, you're a smooth day. cat. If you're not sweating in here, you're a smooth cat, man. You got a good heart rate. Apparently, my heart's about to beat out of my chest, and maybe I need to lose a few pounds because I am, I am sweating, baby. Holy cow. But we're having a good time. Tell us a little bit about what some of the differentiators are that you have for your business. I've been asking folks this because the reality is that you're here in a networking event and there, you might bump into somebody that does something similar to what you do. But there are no two brands alike. Right. There's always something that stands out that's a little different that separates you from the rest. What are your core values or what are some of the cultural things or principles that you have that separate you from the rest? Maybe it's a solution set. Maybe it's a way of pricing. What would you say comes to the forefront of your mind? Yeah, I think to dial in a little more, mid-market space. So we're very mid-market focused. To us, that means companies that have between 50 to maybe a couple, 2,000 employees. Got it. Um, it is a pretty wide solution set of, 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 of services and products we can offer. But um, I think being easy to work with, unbiased is probably the key one that makes us different. Elaborate on that. What do you mean by unbiased? So. There's something you do when you you buy something in your life, right? You, uh, let's say you, you you need to build a deck on your house. Yeah. You have a guy out. He's gonna pitch you what he knows and how to build a deck. The next guy might pitch it a different way and design it with different materials. If you could just meet with one person that could show you the three or four options all under one roof and price it with all the different products and solutions. Like a good, better, best. Yeah. Uh, that's what we do. So that's what makes us unique. And I think a lot of folks that buy technology don't understand that this concept exists. Is that So they go out and meet with company number one, company number two, company number three, and four, and five, and you see product demos and deal with sales reps from all of them. If you can meet with one single source who can unbiasedly walk you through it, the pros, the cons, the goods, the bads, here's where this solution is great, but here's where their weaknesses are and they stink, right? So to hear that kind of honest feedback is refreshing to a lot of IT leaders. And it yeah, helps. that that is a beautiful thing because the reality is like, when you take the time out of your day to meet with somebody to introduce their products or services, you would hope that they could adapt to you, right? Instead of having a, you know, we have this product. Yeah. They want to know what the problem is and they adapt their product and their solution to the problem. You're exactly right. So, so folks will meet with a ABC company and they're going to talk to you about Here's the ABC products we can offer. Well, what if I don't fit in your box? Um, so we can kind of look at everything. What industry are you in? You're in healthcare. That means you have HIPAA compliance. How many employees do you have? Geographically, where are you located? What are your problems? Okay, after we ingest all that, now we can start to tell you, here's where we think, here's two or three options that might work for you. So it's a different approach. We love it. We're passionate about it. Um, so it's exciting. To you got a smile it. on your face, man. You're beaming a little bit. Tell me about one of your favorite experiences thus far in your role with your team, with your brand, something that just lights you up. Yeah, I, I like working in these solutions where you can see the impact from start to finish and see real yeah. results, right? So that's one thing I love about the mid-market space is, is, is they're not so massive and bureaucratic where uh, the generally the people you're working with can get stuff done. When they agree on you still have a little agility. Yeah, so the agility, when I can work on a project that you can see the end result of in a reasonable amount of time, but it's still complicated enough to challenge us and, 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 and make us think, uh, th those are the fun ones. Okay. So uh, as, a, as a man, what gets you out of bed in the morning? What's driving you right now? What's the purpose? What's the greater purpose? Give us a little inspiration, yeah, got, Sean. Hey, I've got a family. I've got two kids, Linda and Nola. Uh, my son's 13 and my daughter's 11. Uh, I've got a short amount of time until... Yeah, it gets gone. really crazy. Fast, so, yeah. And my wife, Carrie. But no, I think, you know, that's, that's an obvious one every day that makes you get out of bed. If that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what does. But, um, and I, you know, the other thing too is I like... I, I like the IT and technology industry because it's so dynamic, right? Yeah. So what was good and what worked for technology even six months ago, a year ago, might not work today. So it does, that constant change and that constant uh, learning something new over and over, you know, repeatedly having to, what I learned a year ago doesn't work now and there's something yeah. totally new. So 
I think the, the, the freshness to the industry, how much change it can be a challenge and a complete thorn in our side. Yeah. But it, it you got to almost relearn the product yeah. every year. Yeah. It's not like banking where you know, everything stays the same for 100 years. Yeah. It is very dynamic and um, it makes it challenging, but also a lot of fun. I love it. Well, we are here, as I mentioned, we are here at the Level Up Social Networking event. Just take a look around here, Sean. What do you think? This place is great. Are you making connections? Are you getting to know some people? Do, are there some prospects in the crowd here? I think so. You know, I think it's, uh, so far, I've had some familiar faces I've ran into that I haven't seen for a couple months, so I've been nice to catch up with them. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of potential. Yeah, there's a lot of potential. There's always a lot of opportunity. You just got to take the time to go out and shake a hand or two. And you know what we're going to do now, Sean? We're going to jump into the hot iron with JMO. I'm ready. These are rapid fire questions. And by the way, I'm going to put you on a two minute clock, but there is no actual clock and there is no right answer, but you better get your answers right. Okay. You got it? I'm ready. All right. All right. First question. Here we go. Here's the question. Chicago Cubs or Chicago White Sox? Chicago Cubs. That right. is correct, sir. They are going to almost potentially not win a championship this year. <laughs> all right. What is the best comedy movie of all time and why? Dumb and Dumber. Jim dumb Kenny. and Dumb. Oh, my Jim gosh. Did we just become best friends? I'm pretty sure that we did. We just became best friends. That is absolutely the truth. All right, so if you could go see any team in any event, what team, what event would you want to watch Watch uh, win the championship? The greatest baseball game ever played, the Chicago Cubs versus, versus the Indians in 2016. It was in Cleveland. I have innings. so much regret that I didn't buy that ticket and go. Oh. Unbelievable. I don't know what was better. It's pretty hard to top being here in Chicago when that happened, too. But to be there in person would have been special as well. All right, so here we go. That is a perfect answer. If you could be the lead singer of any rock band, what rock band are you the lead singer of? I want to be Jack White. Jack White? Yes. Wow. Jack White. I'm going up Wichita. Let's go, baby. If I could be Jack White. That would be pretty good. I wouldn't be in technology. He, uh, he's, yeah, he's really good at playing the guitar, and he can hit uh, octaves that I'm not sure exist. And here is your final bonus question. Why, why the Level Up social networking events? Of all the events that you could go to, why is this the one that you choose besides David Horbinko? Why is this the one you choose? Uh, my friend Stell from uh, Onshore Security. Odd Shore Securities. As well. They are tonight. sponsoring the event they're in, tonight. They're in my industry. They're one of the vendors we partner with. So shout out to them for that. Um, it's right in our backyard. Yeah, those two, those two are the core, and I'm building on that. I love it. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much for Thanks joining for us. Me. Peace out. Peace to all the folks on Twitch. We thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Have a great out. Remember the headphones. There you go. That was Sean Mills from Cloud Source. This guy, I gotta tell you, you get him in the boardroom, he doesn't sweat. He does not sweat, I tell you what. He's about six foot five of IT solutions, baby. That's what it's all about. We are looking for our next guest. It looks like we got Lana Housel coming up from Thoreau Facility Services. I gotta tell you, most folks that have come up here, you know, I can tell when they're a little nervous. There's been a little bit of nerves, little nerves, a little shutdown. Not much shutdown, though, but there's been a little nerves. Hopefully, as the drinks flow, people get a little bit more open and a little bit more vulnerable. Thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate it very much. And again, this podcast is sponsored by Onshore Security. You got to check out Onshore Security. And by the way, it's also sponsored by SalesCast. SalesCast, you know we love you. SalesCast does all of our back-end production editing. You are the best in class. By the way, if you want to start a podcast, talk to Club Colors. We can help you with brand messaging and getting that whole podcast structured and set up. And then we will partner with SalesCast to work on your editing and your production quality. They are the best in class. I think we're going to have a guest here any second now. 
If not, I am going to take a breath and we will be right back. How are you? Chris? Yeah. You can call me KP. KP? All right, you got those headphones? So hot. Kristen uh, Petrowski? Petrowski. Petrowski. We've got KP on. KP from Neighborhood Loans. Your favorite neighborhood lender. Your favorite neighborhood lender. And who doesn't need a loan right now in these economic conditions? Amen. What a wonderful time to get a loan. KP, tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do, and what is driving you right now. So, my name is Kristen. I am from Dayton, Ohio. Make sure you get it right up to the mic there. That's better. You gotta go from, you gotta get down there. Well, I shared with Spike, I, like my allergies are really kicking in. And I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to do the pod. I'm feeling like crap, but we're here, we're doing it. Um, anyways, moved here three years ago, middle of the pandemic, had a restaurant job. Um, mortgage industry fell in my lap once the restaurant shut down and I've never looked back. So that is awesome. I got my, um, lending license last summer. I left the team I was on about a month ago, so I am on my own and I'm loving it. You are on your own, yes. you running your own business? Amen, yeah. Look at you, we have an entrepreneur on the show, ladies and gentlemen. This is In the Club, powered by Club Colors, but we are all about KP right now. I love the it. entrepreneur with the mostest, just sending loans out. Coming Thank from Dayton know. and taking over Chicago. So tell us a little bit about what are some of the most difficult uh, scenarios that you help people to overcome. Ooh, so the most difficult scenario right now is the education piece because we obviously don't learn about loans in school or we don't learn about financing or how to build credit or any of that. Like probably the most important piece of your life. I was great in gym class though. Oh, yeah, I dominated gym set. There was no math there. <laughs> so yeah, the most difficult piece is the education piece because I'm still learning every day um, and you just can't miss a step. Um, so it takes time to educate a buyer on what they're getting themselves into. Should we be afraid of this market right now? Absolutely not. If you're smart, you will buy now because everyone and their mom is waiting. Um, so everyone's waiting on the sidelines and then what? Rates come down to how you want them and then you're going to be paying over price. And then you're going to be in a bidding war. And then you're not going to get the seller credit that you could be potentially getting right now. So I think it's very, very important that if you are looking to buy, you act now. And KP called all of your moms. I did. And they were waiting. I did. Okay. <laughs> I love it. So what are some of the objections that you get that you want to squash right now that folks say, like, I don't know, KP, it's not time. I don't know if I should do this. I don't know if you're the right answer. Why are you the right answer? There's so many people that do what you do, let's be honest. Much like what we do at Club Colors, there's so many companies that do what we do, but we have something that stands out that's unique. What's your unique differentiator? So my unique differentiator is we are a very good I'm a good loan option for first time buyers. We have a lot of, we are the number one Illinois housing down payment assistance program lender. Um, people are not aware that they can put as little as 3% down and also get closing costs up to 10K um, and grants from Illinois. So wow. yeah, people just, I'm working on getting, finding a way to get what we offer out there. We offer a lot of niche programs for self-employed borrowers as well as the first time borrowers. So um, we can help in almost any situation. So you clearly are coming from um, the power position of a young entrepreneur. Yes. Okay. And that is a powerful spot to be in. You have your whole future ahead of you. And it's kind of funny because the demographic of loan officer is mainly male, 50 and above. 
so I am trying to crash those stereotypes and offer, be able to connect to buyers that maybe those those people couldn't. Yeah. Um, I think I, I'm t really trying to take advantage of who I am. There's something really um, outstanding about the fact that you said trying to crack those stereotypes. And I think that that's, uh, that's tremendous. And I think that as an entrepreneur, you're going to probably face adversity regardless. Amen. Whether you're a man or a woman, you're going to face adversity regardless. But maybe a little bit more if you're trying to break into something that tends to be dominated by one demographic versus another, right? Absolutely. So how do you handle some of that adversity? What do you tell yourself? What, like, what inspires you? Are you a faithful person? Are you a universe person? Like, what is your thing that keeps your mindset? Oh, go on, girl. All right. So you're a universe I'm person. I'm a freak about astrology, but I do believe in karma. Um, I, mindset is huge, and I'm not here to say I wake up every morning super motivated. Um, there are hard days, of course. Um, I'm just now on my own a month ago, so... Mindset is very important. I highly believe in mind-body-soul connection. Um, I truly believe that if you're healthy and you work out and you eat right and you feed yourself with all the positive things and you surround yourself with the positive people, that you will make those connections and they will want to work with you. Yeah. So I, I really believe in authenticity um, and genuine, kind people. So if I'm able to meet those people, which is what Level Up has given me, um, I think the sky's the limit, and I'm super excited. So where do you think you're going to be 10 years from now? Multiple locations, franchising, building a huge corporation. Like, what? what's the master plan? Because I feel like you're somebody who maps things out, whiteboards things, has a list, checks them off as they go, like kind of has a BHAG. You know what a BHAG is? A big, hairy, audacious goal. Like a BHAG, like something monstrous. Like you got a goal here, and then you got something huge. Well, What's the huge? Started. I've done my five-year plan, but not my 10-year plan. I love it. Yeah, let's go. So, but I would love to be in multiple locations. I mean, we are licensed in over 40 states. Not all 50 yet, but we're getting there. Um, I just can't wait to grow. I would love to have a team one day. Um, I actually was a loan officer assistant for a woman in our company named Emma Butler, and she's been in the industry for 18 years now, and she's the one who actually has inspired me to keep going as a woman in this industry. I love it. All right, so let's talk to the youth out there. There's a lot of folks that are, you know, wanting to take that entrepreneurial journey. They want to go out on their own, but something gets in their way, that fear gets in their way. What would you tell them? Please go for it. I have had my license for over a year, but I was scared to go all commission. Um, I was scared to go all on my own and be my own boss, but hey, my degree was in sports management. I'm not using it. I mean, I'm using it. Kind of. You kind of always use a little right, bit exactly, of what, yeah. Exactly, but I'm not doing a direct sports management degree job. You want to be my agent, though? Yes. <laughs> that would yeah. be fun. That would be so, fun. I have to learn a sport, and then you can be my agent. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> so what would be the... Go for it. Right? What? What? Beyond that. Beyond go for it. Like, how do they, how do they get started? What got you started? Honestly, you just have to build confidence within yourself. Um, and that comes from just, I would say, start with small habits, improving to yourself that you can start with those small habits every single day. And then once you build your confidence, you'll get there and you'll get the ball to freaking do it. Like, it wasn't easy for me. There were tears. Every day is different and every day is hard, but I promise you, it will be so worth it in the end. And if you need my help, I will <laughs> please call me. Um, just build connections like I met Spike by I started showing up to these level up events alone yeah um, and I told Spike the last one at Gold Coast Social I walked in by myself and what meant so much to me is he was like oh my gosh how are you doing I'm so sorry that I didn't get to talk to you enough and I was like I don't even know you he's like I followed you on LinkedIn last week like I'm so glad to see you here and like little stuff like that helps build your confidence. So step out of your comfort zone, go to networking events. Yes, it's gonna be awkward at some points, but 
Nothing a little alcohol can You got to learn how to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And if that doesn't work, have a shot. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to hop into the hot iron with Jemo. Are you ready? I'm ready. These are rapid fire questions. I'm just going to randomly ask you a bunch of questions. Here we go. If you could be any superhero, who would you want to be? If I could be any superhero. I would want to be Batman. Batman! I'm gonna be your Robin. I look I look great in gray and green tights with a yellow with a yellow you know whatever that is. Alright, here we go. Next question. What is the absolute best perfume out there? Beach by Bobby Brown. Holy cow, Bobby Brown. It's her prerogative. It is her prerogative. Do you say Bobby Brown? Yes. <laughs> I'm a bit older. All right. If you could be the star of any movie, what movie would you want to be the star of? The Notebook, um, because I love Ryan Gosling. You love Ryan Gosling? All right, well, maybe I want to be the star of that movie, too. I love Ryan Gosling. Who knows? I feel like we're a match. All right, final question, the bonus question. Why level up social networking events? Why is this the one for you to come to? There's so many events out there. You said that you went out, you got comfortable with becoming, uh, you got comfortable with becoming uncomfortable. You went out on your own. Why this event? Level Up is really special to me. It's one of the first networking events um, that I went to alone, like I mentioned earlier. I love that it's not just industry specific. You can meet a myriad of people here and I would highly, highly, highly recommend just stepping outside your comfort zone once again and just just coming. I mean, tickets are 10 bucks, you get a free drink, and you never know who you're going to meet. I still talk to people I met from the very first one. 10 bucks? I paid 70. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is KP. You've met Katie. Thank you so much. Your neighborhood loan, right? Neighborhood loans? Yeah. Thank you so much. Great to meet you. Cheers. Look forward to <laughs> this. You did great. We're going to post this content. It's going to be all over. You're going to be all over Instagram. You're going to be Instagram famous, TikTok famous. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. Well, there you have it. If you need a loan or you want to become an entrepreneur, you reach out to KP. It's clearly obvious. And by the way, it doesn't matter what your degree is. Go kick some ass regardless. It doesn't matter what you decide to do. It matters what you are driven towards achieving. You got to have purpose. You got to go after it. Clearly, KP wanted to be an entrepreneur. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Again, if you have not looked up Level Up Social networking events, you need to come to them. They are the second Wednesday of every month from some fabulous location in Chicago. Right now, we're at the Chalet. And we are upstairs at the chalet, and it is packed. I mean, packed. And it's all people here that are networking. These are young executives, executives alike, entrepreneurs, HR managers, sales managers, business development people. You're talking about the best and brightest that are all collected in one area. We know the Club Colors team right now is making many connections. We're excited to create unbelievable brand experiences for our folks. I am going to take a break and we will be right back. Stay tuned. We're going to go for four more interviews and then we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned. I will be back. Cheers. Ah, uh, yes. This is John Morris, host of In the Club, powered by Club Colors. I am so excited today to talk to you about our sponsor for this episode, SalesCast. SalesCast is the operating system for the B2B podcasting community of sales, marketing, and revenue professionals. They have an inclusive online community, courses, tutorials, events, guest matching, and even world-class managed production services. Their mission is to connect 100 million sellers to the power of story. Thanks again, SalesCast. Enjoy the show. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. You are in the club, powered by Club Colors, and we are live from the Level Up Social Networking event at Chalet in Chicago. It is beautiful here. 
it's finally cooled down a little bit, but it has not cooled down because of the amount of people. The people continue to come in, but the air conditioning is working. And it's the first time, I think, in April that I've ever felt an 85-degree day. And we are shocked here in Chicago. We don't know what to do with it. I am joined today by... Conrad Dean here. I'm with Judy. Very nice to meet you, sir. Connor it is. Yes, Connor. Conrad. Conrad. That is right. Conrad. That's what I meant. Conrad, tell us a little bit about what you specialize in and what your exact role is within that specialty. Yeah. So at Genuity, we specialize in solving small and medium-sized businesses' IT challenges. Got it. Um, depending on how they're strategizing, there's different challenges that we're solving. So that we can help them out and customize solutions for them. What type of challenges tend to come up that folks will come to you because maybe they didn't get the right service, they didn't get the right results? Like, why do organizations decide to change other than price? Because we don't want to talk about price. That's a race to the bottom. And if folks are changing strictly on price, then they're not focused on value and benefits. So let's focus on what are some of the solutions, some of the differentiators, some of the, the change-making situations that people switch over to your organization for. A lot of times it's just resource allocation. Uh, IT solutions tend to be pretty expensive. And if you make the wrong choices, that's an expensive decision to make. We've got folks that, first of all, just have tons of experience within our organization who uh, can help them out. The other thing that I think really differentiates our organization is that we've got some proprietary software that shows you what we do as a managed service provider. So in my previous role, I would talk to folks and they'd be using a managed service provider and I'd say, okay, what are they doing for you? And a lot of the time they would say, I, I don't know. And that's a lot of money out the window. Yeah. You don't know what, what it's going for. Who's your point of entry with? Who are we talking to right now? Who would be the person that needs to be tuning in to hear from you to give you the green light for that opening appointment? A lot of the time it depends on the business's strategy. So yeah. there's smaller organizations where we go in and maybe we've got 30 folks to speak it as a business owner. There's larger organizations that part of their strategy is to have a managed service provider handle their IT. And in that case, maybe it's the IT director or CIO. Okay. So what are some of the challenges that folks are facing right now? I know that, um, you know, just the general service that you provide is something that is a necessity, right? But what are some of the bolt-on ancillary services that you provide that really deluxe it up, that really make it premium, that makes you the Mercedes-Benz of service? I think that it, the challenge, sorry, you asked about the challenges or what we provide? Some of the challenges that folks, that, that, that they might be facing that you're the right answer for because you are the premium answer. Um, I, I think that you're probably running into similar challenges that anybody that's using an MSP is running into to be realistic. But what's going to differentiate, I guess, some of those challenges are onboarding to offboarding. Um, Allocating different IT resources, uh, dealing with random issues that you have throughout the day with your users, and being able to quickly address those. But kind of like I mentioned earlier, what differentiates us is our software and how it gives you visibility to what we're doing. So when you when you get asked what your MSP is doing for you, instead of saying I don't know, you can pull up a report and see what we're doing for you. You can see how quickly we're addressing things and you made the right decision to work with it. Let me ask you your thoughts on AI. Have you tried ChatGTP? I've tried ChatGBT. I've tried some of the other yeah. services. What are your thoughts on AI? Great for the world, bad for the world, needs to be monitored, needs to be regulated. What are your thoughts? I think we, you kind of hit it on the last one. There, there's definitely some concerns. I think that anybody can see that as far as just the amount of bad information that goes out and people take it and yeah. just can it. Uh, what do you think about it? You know, it's interesting, right? So, like, I've tried it 
from the standpoint of copyright, okay. right? So like w whether it's uh, writing a LinkedIn post or uh, putting together, let's say a three minute read, right? For some publication. And it's interesting that you can type in like, my name is John Morris. I'm the executive director of Brand for Club Colors. Write a post about the 10 categories that folks should consider when purchasing promotional products in the tone of John Morris. And it will like scroll through like my social media and actually write it in a similar verbiage. Then I take it, I copy paste it, and I can edit it completely, but it does all the legwork and then I make it my voice. It's really interesting, but I see the danger in it as well because I'll throw it in, I'll just give you an easy example. I'll throw it into Grammarly it's like 70% accurate. Like, it's not writing at the highest level of, of grammar and education. So there's that some interesting... Okay everybody else writes. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, maybe that's, maybe that's because I said write in the tone of John Morris, who's dyslexic and has attention deficit, so it knew to screw words up. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. That could be it. That could be it. Give us a little bit of an understanding from you personally. What's some of your drivers... What are, what's driving you right now in your role as a man? What gets you out of bed these days? Uh, I, I think that a handful of things get me out of bed. You know, there's professional things, wanting to in my career, wanting to help people solve challenges, but also personal things that I'm working on. You know, I think everybody has fitness goals, everybody has wellness goals. Kind of a boring answer, but. I'm human. I'm probably working toward a lot of the same things as everybody else. I, I love it. I love it. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is Conrad joining us here on In the Club, Powered by Club Colors. You've been a fantastic guest. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, hey, listen, folks, it's, uh, it's late in the evening right now, but I got to tell you, there's more people that are shuffling in. You know, you got those cool kids that always come in late, right? They come into the party late. They're always uh, finding a way to, you know, the cool kids that sat at the back of the bus. Those are the folks that are coming in right now. I wish I could give you the camera shot of this event right now. We've got some uh, fantastic energy happening right now. Can you even hear us? Can you hear? Conrad, can you hear me right now? What did you say? <laughs> exactly. It's super loud. All right. We're going to we're going to go ahead and bring up our next guest. Conrad, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, check out Conrad on his social platform. We appreciate you. We got one more guest coming up. Who we got, Nikki B? I want to turn the camera around on Nikki B. Nikki B is from our design lab, the one and only. Grab that camera. Say hi, Nikki. There she is. The one and only Nikki B. There's nobody like her. Well, the only person like her would be Shar Guthrie, but Shar's in Vegas at a fantastic show right now. I hope you're enjoying this. We have a great time with this. By the way, Club Color is a full service brand management firm. We are hiring right now, and we are hiring because we are scaling rapidly. Why are we scaling rapidly? Because our core values are set. Our core values are set, and we live by them. And because of that, we know who we are, we know where we're going, and we know how we're doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us in the club. It's been an absolute blast. We're gonna wrap it up here. Why don't we have David Horbinko come in here real quick. David Horbinko, come in real quick and set the tone. Send us off. We gotta have David. By the way, David, David is my guy, he's my friend. He's he's my guy. We got a we got a we got a social networking thing going here. David took me out to Top Golf, and if you want to know the way to my heart, you want to get an appointment with me, take me to Top Golf. David, you got to be so proud right now of this event. All these folks that are coming out here in support of not only their brand but also this event let's be honest they come out here to support you as well uh thank you john there it means a lot uh they, they absolutely do and uh the biggest part about tonight that i love 
It was over a hundred people that we got tonight. Yeah. A record breaking crowd. And the theme tonight to me, in my opinion, was authenticity. Everyone's here to make a friend and make a connection. Again, no name tags. We don't do that. You want to make a, a friend? I met you, bro, over LinkedIn. Yeah. We became boys. It didn't matter what you did per se. I was comfortable to bring you in front of all of my clients. I introduced you to Chris Peter at Tactics. That's right. Group. Chris Peter is the OG. So we both know Brandon Murphy, the man. The Brandon Murphy's the man. James Talent Partners, they recruit like crazy. The they best. They do such a great job. So those types of folks, we help others find those types of folks to put them in front of one of their clients. And also, you drive a ball pretty far on top golf, so it was pretty cool to see. <laughs> David, it's like they say, iron sharpens iron, and that is what the Level Up social networking events is all about. It's about iron sharpening iron. It's about great people getting together, no name tags. You go take the time to go meet that person, introduce yourself, and make your presentation. And everybody is welcome. We look forward to see you every second Wednesday of the month where is the next event next month david where am i driving my beautiful vehicle to <laughs> so second wednesday of the month wednesday may 10th at kennedy rooftop also a little bit secret there's going to be a little special sauce that we're going to sprinkle on top of it but you got to go to find out about it i love special sauce david horbinko i love you you're a fantastic gentleman, and this is a great event, and you've built with your partners a fantastic brand, and I want to remind you, sir, you've been in the club. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us in the club, powered by Club Colors. This was a live stream from the chalet, Level Up Social Networking events. David Horbinko, Tony Salvage, and Spike Engelman, they are the best and the brightest. And by the way, if you don't know who Club Colors is, please check us out at www.clubcolors.com. Anything you need, anything you want to get logoed, Club Colors got your back. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure. Cheers. In the Club is powered by Club Colors. Club Colors is the premium marketing solution for all branded apparel and promotional products utilized to drive your brand awareness and brand success. From concept to doorstep, Club Colors can source over 9 million different product solutions, decorate your logo, create custom kitting solutions, manage all logistics, and build, manage, and curate your company online store. The full, comprehensive, all-in-one solution for your brand. Our brand promise is right solution, right place, right time. Allow Club Colors to create an inspiring brand experience for you and your team. Check us out at www.clubcolors.com.